MassMart trades as game. Builders Warehouse and Dion Wyatt, Cambridge and CBW. Right, and of course everyone knows it's 51% held by Walmart, the world's largest retailers. Or there have been a few rumours that because that investment hasn't worked out that well for them, they bought in at about 148 rands a share. Will they continue to hold? Mm, that's well, a bit let's of a concern. see, and we'll check in on that share price graph in a moment. But the market cap here, 26.5 billion rand, PE of 22.6, and a dividend yield of 1.5%. As you said, Walmart, Walmart buying in at that 148 rand. Mm. And we're currently tracking just below 100. And yeah, it's at about 130, I yeah. think. 130. Currently. So, but it went up before. That purchase was some time ago. Yes. Yeah. The story here, when? Look. Not doing badly, their big future, if you like to call it that, is the rollout of serious food exposure in all of their stores, but mainly game. Mm. And they've actually done quite well in game. Their problem at the moment is general merchandise, in other words, the stuff you buy at Macro, and the Builders section, Builders Warehouse, Builders Express, actually had negative real growth. The, the, the growth in, in headline growth was zero. Now, in their latest sales update, they did say the building section is getting better mm. but this will still be a drag on them and their future truly is is food mainly in game but also in macro the liquor side the drink side has actually done quite it's been quite mm -hmm. resilient over mm -hmm. this time period but you know when you put food in your outlets you're taking on the big players Mm. Paul, you've never been overly enthusiastic on this many, as an investment. Many, many years ago, we liked them. You remember Mark Lamberti did a great job and built it out. And I thought there was scope for some of the different brands to be unbundled and separated. Then Walmart came in. It got a little bit confusing. I don't know. It's a tricky one because, as Wayne says, there are some good and some bad. There have been bits that have done well. Other times, bits that haven't done well. There's the branding issue. You know, well, is Walmart we've long stay discussed stuck? we should actually, you know, if Walmart does stay invested in MassMart, they should do a rebranding exercise. Yeah. Look, Nobody can compete with a Walmart Look, I must brand. say, I, I've, I've never been a favor in, in favor of multi-branding strategy because you just confuse consumers. They don't know who owns this, what am I buying from, who stands behind this. It's it's, it's never been yeah, you a You saw good the thing furor for around Absa, Barclays. Yeah, and the whole uh, thing. Allied and having said that, obviously, if the relationship with Walmart was cast in concrete, then one could imagine they might proceed with a full buyout and then a full rebranding of the group. That doesn't seem to be the case.